So as I'm just about to finish the wiring project on the Jeep, um, a lot of you during these last five, six days have uh, told me like, God, it seems so complicated. What is, what are you doing? It's driving me crazy. Like, what? So I thought I would outline or just show you step by step what it takes to rewire wires to a new connector. Um, so the first step is to check out the documentation. So this is how the data looks. If I can show you, this is how the data looks out of the documentation. So I have a bunch of you know numbers and letters, and these correspond to various uh, uh, details about each wire. I sort it out, put a few pretty colors, and sort them out by component, and I have this. So the wire we're going to do now, which is the last wire I'm going to do right now, is the air conditioning compressor clutch relay output. A lot of words, mumbo jumbo, basically it controls the air conditioning inside the Jeep. Um, the data I have for this wire is that it's dark blue and yellow, gauge 18, uh, part of circuit C3, who cares. Um, so yeah, dark blue and yellow, gauge 18. And, well, today it's really easy because it's the last fucking one. Uh, but this is what it looks like. This is a dark blue wire, and the yellow stands for the stripe. And this is the yellow stripe. Um, when I first started, obviously, there were 43 wires here. So it would have been a little bit trickier to distinguish and just takes a little longer to identify and find the cable. Anyway, once I've found the cable, I will take the brute tool cutters, straight cutters, and I will do what most of you will seem or actually think is quite dangerous. There you go. No more wire. And with this, actually, this fucking connector is trash. All right. Anyway, I'm a perfectionist, so I like to make things really clean. So what I would do is I would untangle the wires down to the um, harness. And so that way I have separate you know, wire subgroups, you know. So anyway, let me just pause this and sort it out. All right, we're back. Um, I was. So, next step is to strip the wire so that the end, oh, sorry, so that the end exposes the copper. And so it's actually wire, not just a, a straight piece of plastic. I use these handy wire stripping tools. So I just put the cable here. This is actually harder than it looks to do through the viewport of the camera. Anyway, up, oh, can you see? Hope you can see. Yes, all right. I think I showed this on one of my stories. Oh, one-handed, it's truly really hard. Okay, here we go, and done. So, the wire is stripped. You can see the copper. And now what I have to do is twist the strands to make something that's kind of um, resistant. Um, well, just it, it groups the strands together because as you can see, a, a wire is made out of, if we can do some macro, can we do some macro? Yeah. You can see that a copper wire is not just one solid piece of copper. It's actually several pieces of copper strands all grouped up together. So let me just pause the video and twist the strands. All right. Now that the strands are twisted together, now I need to make sure that this copper can actually be used uh, because right now there's nothing much to, I mean, you could touch two wires, but that doesn't work really well on a car long term. Um, so I need to use, uh, I need to crimp some pins to the end of it. Well, one pin per wire. This is what a pin looks like. There you go. It's a solid piece of metal. The focus is hard to do here. Uh, okay, so there we go. The, so the solid piece of metal, so I would just slide it on top and then I would crimp it with a special tool. Prepared this already on this line because I'm a professional videographer. I would set it into the wire. This is hard to do one-handed but hey. Alright and then I would crimp it down. Okay and remove the tool and there we go. The wire is now got it end on it and that's pretty much done. Now I just need to set it in the connector and as you can see I've prepared everything else so all I have to do is just take the wire, slide it in there and that's it.
So uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much the process. I mean, let me just show you how, how that works because that's satisfying as well. All right, and we're back for the last step. I'll try and make this quick. Um, I don't know if you can even see. Yes, you can see. All right. Anyway, the connector is 12 slots, and I've already got 11 wires inside, and all I have to do is just slip this contact. It's actually tr tricky because it's tight, <laughs> and just slide it in. Oh, there we go. All right. So I've got 12 contacts set. Well, now what I would do now is compare it to the other plug. Make sure all the colors are correct. Man, you can't see shit. <laughs> Make sure all the colors correspond on either side just to make sure there is no short circuits or whatever. And then I would set the pins deeper so that it clicks inside. Um, let's see if I can do one before it times out. No, 